Lord, we thank you today, oh Father God, that we can come before your presence, oh God, physically here, oh Father God, or, or over the, the, the social media, oh God. Lord, but let us recognize, oh Father, who you are, oh God, Lord. And as we celebrate this day, oh Father, let us be thankful and grateful, Father, that you came for us. Hallelujah. So we, today we just give him all the praise and, and all the honor. You know, as, as we come yes. to a close of another year, uh, 2022, um, let us just reflect and um, and just you, you know um, thank God for you know for 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 everything, whether you know good or bad. Um, you know, God has you know been there for us and, and, and has held us up, and, and and we just give Him praise and honor, and um, and we just glorify His name. So at this time, we're gonna have um, our pastor uh, break coming forth with the. Um, with the message um so amen. prepare your hearts to receive um what the lord has hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. amen amen god is good amen amen hallelujah we're celebrating christmas today and we're thanking the lord as we honor him and we come here again to share the truth but also to honor god amen today is a special day right everybody Amen. Today is a yes. special day because this is the birth of Christ that we set aside, amen, and say thank you, Lord, uh, Heavenly Father, our Father, for sending your Son, your only begotten Son, for who? For all of us. Amen? Amen. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God is so good. And again, like my wife said, uh, we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, amen, and remember that this is the reason what? For the season is who? Season. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And we thank the Lord, Amen. That we could be here. Thank you, Father. I wanted to come on today and I want to share because, you know, we read the story of Mary in the manger and, and even as we have the statue here for those that what, and we have the statue here that represents the wise men and all those that came when they saw the star, amen, and they brought yes. gifts, amen, and that's why we have a tree and we celebrate that, amen, and and we, and we remember that these gifts that God has given us an opportunity to have a relationship, but that he's given us the opportunity to able to bless one another. Amen. Amen. And that's the message that Christ came so that we would have life and a more abundant life and that he would Amen. take care of every sin. Amen. Amen. In our lives. Uh, and God sent his son again for that one reason. But, you know, we talk about Mary, we talk about that, and I know that a lot of churches today are uh, talking about the birth of Christ, and so are we. But I want to do a little difference. I want to talk about, like I'm always sharing here, that people, how does God work, everybody? <laughs> through people. Amen. Amen? God works through people. So we want to be able to, you know what, uh, this is why I tell people it's so important that we honor God. Amen. And put everything aside and put God first. Amen? Amen. Because he's the source of our lives and he's the author and the finisher. Amen. Amen. So let's remember to do that. Amen. But I want to get to the story. And I and my title message today, those that are watching, is what? Responding without understanding. Now you say, how does that go with the message in Christmas? I'm going to share with you. Responding, right? As we're responding right now, we're coming together. We're recognizing that this is the day that the Lord, that we set aside, that we honor God for sending his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. And we thank God for that. Amen. Because uh, that's the love that God sent from heaven onto earth, onto us. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. A little dry from singing. Amen. Mm. But you know who I want to talk about? Joseph. Amen. I want to talk about Joseph today. Amen. <clears throat> Remember that Joseph had decided how to respond without fully understand what was going on. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason I picked this and I, I was doing some studying and I said, man, I got to share this. Amen. Um, yes. Again, Joseph decided to respond without fully understanding what was going on. As, as we have uh, to make also that important decision 
without all the facts. Amen. You ever made a decision without having the true facts? Amen. You do it because what? You have a relationship with God. You know that God is true. And the word is the only thing that sets you free. Amen. And it's true. Amen. But let's go to Matthew chapter 1 verse 19. And again, my message is remember that Joseph had to decide how to respond without fully understand what's going on. Amen. For we know that in Matthew uh, chapter 1 verse 19 says, Joseph, her husband, was a what? A righteous man. And he did not want to expose her to public, uh, uh, to the public and disgrace, and disgrace her. And he had in mind also to down the road to divorce her. Amen. Now, what is he doing, Joseph? There? He's thinking about her. Amen. And we know back in the day, they didn't take that very lightly when someone did something out of line, especially women. Amen. But yet he said, you know what? I don't understand what's going on, but, you know, how could they, how could they be, he betrayed to, uh, what, is that the right word? Betrothed, rather, to her to get married and all this, and then she's pregnant. Amen. But again, I want to say that, that Joseph, her husband, was what? A righteous man. And he did what? Uh, he didn't want to expose her to public uh, disgrace. He had in mind to, down the road, to what? To divorce her quietly. Amen. In other words, Mary's husband, Joseph, was really, what? A good man. Amen. He did not want to ca ca cause her public disgrace. So he planned to divorce her secretly wow the basis of that response was what not uh not too difficult circumstances or, or his lack of information it was what what is the most important thing his character Amen. because joseph decided to to uh uh joseph decided what to do based on what he was amen Leo Vega, God bless you, Leo Vega, amen. And, and I'm talking about that today because you know what? It's so important because we go through the, we know that Jesus was born, we know we the manger, but let's talk about Joseph, amen, and the experience he went through. And we all, we all know that it, the church had been set aside for today, December 25th, every year to what? To celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as the Jewish Messiah and the Son of God. Can everybody say the amen to that? Amen. Come on, I don't hear y'all. Come on, amen. amen. Hey, <laughs> Remember, people worldwide even honor him, his birth. He is what made Christmas special. Amen. Because his message continues to what? To edify. Amen. It is what a supernatural, awesome, and dynamic effect upon social history. Amen. Amen. Amen? Yes, thank you, Lord. Upon social history. But God revealed that time, as we know today, as we celebrate Jesus, amen, identity to all of us. Yes. As the star of David was in the sky. We know that, amen. And this is what the story is of Christmas. Amen. And I'm going to share a little bit more on that, but I want to get back to Joseph, amen, now, Joseph, again, base of his response was not difficult circumstances or his lack of information. Again, it is his character. Joseph decided to do upon what he was, and it was all about his character. Amen. You know, I take this, you know, I would take the character my brothers and sisters, over any circumstances. Just about everything. Amen? Yeah. I know from experience that some people will never forgive <laughs> whether they were offended against or them or great or small. Amen. That's why I was sharing before I got on the on social media on Friday, and I was sharing here from uh, Love Brings Ministry Studios that uh, 
We got to examine our hearts as God examines our heart to forgive, amen, and to put God first. I mean, I tell people all the time, do that. Put God first and, and let us forgive one another and let us start this new year and remember it's all about, as we know, that's why I was picking the topic of, of Joseph, his character. He didn't know what was going on around him, but yet his integrity. You understand what I'm saying of who he was as a person? Amen. He wasn't Jesus. He was just an ordinary man just like us. Amen. And he had to make a big decision, but he went by by his character because he was looking out for the welfare of Mary. And this is what, what this story means to me, man. And this is a great example of how we're to love one another, care of one another, prefer people before yourself, especially preferring Christ in all things. Amen? Yes. Amen? It is so important that we realize that. Amen. And and I thank the Lord for that. You know, uh, and, and I think about Joseph, and I think about, man, I want to have, uh, regardless of whatever I do in my life, I want to have a good character. I want to be a good person. I want to be Christ-like. What is Christ-like? Christ-like is to love and to care and to do things right. And, and even when we don't understand, we still believe and trust God. Amen. Yes. You know? And again, I take character over our circumstances just about every time. I know that, especially some people uh, will never forget whether they were, and especially if they were offended against, you know, great or small. They just hold on to those things so I hope that this message will encourage you amen. amen but let me say that others will forgive no matter what happens to them some are are, are uh, with God and everyone else soon as something doesn't go their way in life they get bitterness amen Christ immediately, what, trusted, we must, I mean, others immediately trust God, even when it appears that God has not, that God has abandoned them. Amen? You ever felt like that? But you know, again, like I was saying, Joseph didn't look at the sir, he just, his character. In other words, he gave benefit of the doubt. There must be a reason, even though he didn't understand why things are happening around his life, but he said, I'm still going to give, you know, do what's right. You understand? Even if the, I don't understand what's going around me. And sometimes we got to remember that, as Joseph did, and his character. That it's all about character, and the character especially of, 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 of Christ. Amen? Man, yes. they, uh, we know that Christ was betrayed, Christ was beaten, Christ was doing all these things. Even as we celebrate the star of David and coming down and following that and all the things that happened in the story of Christmas. But yet, you know what? He still loved us because of his character. Amen. And to me, Joseph represents what Christ came all about. Amen. Amen. And but let me go more into it because I, I get real emotional when I think of that. Amen. But you know what? Others, like me and you, we must trust God. Even when it appears that God has abandoned us. We've got to continue to trust Him. The issue is that character, it is the kind of person someone is. That's who you are. That's how we identify how you live your life, the things you do, the things that you are. Amen? Remember, Joseph was what? Number one, what was Joseph? A righteous man. Amen? Yes, he was. Amen. Joseph was a righteous man. And those that are here that would like to write this down, he was the kind of person who did what was right simply when someone else did not. Uh, when someone did what was wrong. Write that down. He was the kind of person who did what was right even when someone else did what was wrong. Amen? Number two, he was the kind of person who trusted God even when God doesn't tell him what's going on. Amen? Amen. That's what my point is, that we got to trust God even though we don't know why we're going through these circumstances 
why things happen in our lives, we still got to trust God. You see? And when we start doing that, man, because I tell you again, I was sharing on uh, Wednesday night and I was talking about God wants to touch your heart, but also God looks at our hearts and our decisions that we make. And we know that the greatest gift that we received it, truly received it, is the Holy Spirit that dwells in our hearts. Amen. 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 So again, remember that, that he was the kind of person who trusted God even when God doesn't tell him what's going on. Is that you, my sister, and my brother out there? Can we really trust God even though we don't know why the circumstances are happening around Amen. us? Amen? Yes. He was the kind of man who treated others fairly. Amen? And kindly. Even when it appeared that the other person had betrayed him. Mm. Hey, amen. We could all identify with that, right? Amen. Because we hear the story, but listen. This is the kind of character he was. He was, what, the kind of man who treated others fair, fairly. Amen. And that's what God is asking us today. Amen. And this is why Christ came. Amen. We, we can say that it's all worked out okay for, jo for Joseph at the end. But remember that God was doing him a favor. God was doing him a favor. He was giving him what? The privilege, my brothers and sisters, to witness the birth of the Son of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Again, he gave him the privilege. You see? Because he didn't know what's going on, but he gave him the privilege to take care of it. Look at the responsibility that he laid on Joseph. We know that Mary had the baby. We know that the angel spoke to Mary, but we know that he got his info through a dream after but yet he did what was right because of his character, a righteous man. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Joseph, remember, and knowing that at the end of the day, if we really look at it, he was privileged to witness the birth of the Son of God and send, and send him more close up personally time. He had the most close personal time, rather, with who? With Jesus Christ. Amen, yes. Than just about anyone else in human history was Joseph. Amen. Amen. He saw the birth. <laughs> he was there. Amen. And God gave him the privilege and the responsibility to take care of his child. Amen. And you know how important that is? Think about that for a minute. Can we be those Josephs that God can entrust us with that treasure? Amen. And to me, I feel like it's in a way, yes, because we are still here ministering the word of God. I'm sharing on Christmas morning the birth of Christ and sharing about God every every Sunday, every and, and every day of my life. And we're doing the same thing. Is that our character? Amen. You see, God has given us a privilege that we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the greatest gift that we can get in Christmas. Amen? Yes. On that day. But remember that Joseph had the privilege to witness that birth and spend more time with Jesus, with Jesus Christ than anybody else, him and Mary. Amen? Yes. Amen. Oh, wow. Thank you, Lord. You know... No, Knowing that at that time he had no hit, uh, no hidden agendas, nothing but just love. Amen. He loved Jesus. He took care of Jesus as a child. Amen. For any possible outcome of good, all he knew was also know we know that he went through what through pain, through problems. Amen, and personal tragedies. Joseph did what was right because he was the most important thing, a righteous man. Oh, hallelujah. I think of that, and I'm so blessed. Amen. 
Uh, that's why I love the Word of God. And there's so much knowledge and power in the Word of God that empowers us to face every day as we face our challenges today. Amen. And I know that maybe some of you out there has been a hard year, but remember, keep the character of Joseph. Remember Joseph. I hope that this message is really stirring your spirit. Remember the character Amen. of Joseph. Even though when you don't know what's going on, you see, that's an opportunity for us to build our faith and to know, and God will know our hearts for sure if we really trust Him. This is why I believe that God allows things to happen to us. Amen. And we know we don't we don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but He does. But we have what? Hope. Amen. And we have Amen. trust. Amen. Amen. Because again. Amen. Joseph did, even though he went through what, through pains, through problems, and, 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 and personal tragedies, Joseph did what was right because he was a righteous man. I'm going to say it to all of us, let us be the righteous person. Amen. Joseph faced what every one of us face today, challenges. Amen. Amen. Are you facing challenges today? Amen. I am. Amen. You know, we have to choose, my brothers and sisters, how to respond and what to say and do. Amen? Yes. Yet, we just don't understand, like Joseph sometimes, why I think what's going on. We don't have to. We don't have to have all the facts. Amen? Amen. We can, my brothers and sisters, believe to know what the future is, in other words, but we will be, will be like, or things will come. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I can only talk about today. Amen? Amen. Yes. Please, everybody, look at me. I can only talk about today. Amen? Because tomorrow's not promised to any of us. Because he said we don't know the time or the place. Amen. But you know what? Even though we don't know the time, we still have joy and peace. Why? Even as I was singing, waiting on him. I'm always waiting on him because I know that he's going to come again. Whether he comes for the world at one time on heaven and the trumpets of sound, as the Bible declares, or maybe tomorrow might be my last day. It might be your last day and your last day and your last day. But we know for assurance through the word of God, that we don't know what's going on, but we have what? Trust and faith. Amen. Amen. And we got brothers like Joseph and Job and all these people that went through so many things. Amen. And that we're reading about today and sharing the gospel. Yes. Amen. Of God with you, my sister and my brother. Again, remember that Joseph faced uh, even was, uh, we don't know what he's going to face today as we do the same. We have to choose how to respond, what to say and do. Yet, we just don't understand what's going on. Father, when that time comes in your life, as it's come in my life many times, I don't know why I'm going through this. I don't know why things are not uh, the way I feel they should be, but that's okay. I still trust you. I still believe because I'm still always for the rest of eternity, I'm waiting on you until you come and rescue me. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, we can be and to know what the future is. We can't know, but what? We may be like Joseph, having character. Amen. Amen. Yet we have to, again, to respond, to decide, and to act. And to do something. Amen. That is when we win. I'm sorry. That is when our character determines our response of who you are. Why do I get on social media all the time to reach the world? That's my, that's my vision. Amen. I just don't want to talk to just people. I want to talk to people on the world. As you're watching me on camera right now. I thank God for, I was reminded the other day that a brother, a, a pastor, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Bombay or something like that. Um, Umbate. Uh, Umbate. Pastor Umbate out in Africa. 
a couple of years ago sent me uh, saw us on YouTube and saw and sent us some information and said, you know what, uh, Pastor, is it all right if I name the church out here under the tree with a whole bunch of children? He was under the tree and he said, let me name, uh, uh, can I name my church Love Wings Ministry? He said, because you, you define what ministry is all about. He said, number one word that you said was love. Amen. And he said, can I? And I said, sure. Amen. And it honored me. Because you know what? Sometimes we think the things that we're doing are not reaching, but God is using you, my sister and my brother. Even though when you don't see the circumstances around you, Amen. you know that God will, 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 will give you revelation uh, down the road. Amen. So whatever you're going through, remember, you might not get it now, but you'll get the answer down the road. That's when I, I tell people, man, that's your faith and trusting God. Amen. And that will be your character. Amen. Of trusting God. Whose report you going to believe. Amen. Amen. We have to respond and to decide and act up to do something that is when our character determines our response. Amen. Amen. Of who you are. That's why I got on the radio. I said, you know what? Let us forgive one another. And I tell everybody, if I said something to anyone, I'll be the first one to say, forgive me. Amen. I'm human. I'm still learning. I'm still building that. But my character, you see, that's the most important thing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Do we have faith when there is no hope? Amen. Do we have faith when we have no hope? I mean, when there is no hope. Do we do what is right, even if all the evidence points to life turn, uh, uh, turning out wrong? Amen. Are we faithful to God even when he doesn't tell us what he wants us to do or to know? Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Joseph, her husband, was what? A righteous man. I want to say that again. He did what he he did not want to expose her to public disgrace. Amen. He had in mind to divorce her again quietly. And then what happened? The dream of God. Different, I mean, I'm sorry, God's different direction towards Joseph was he decided, what will I do to receive new information? This is not unusual, so to speak. Amen? Often God talks to us in different ways. Amen, yes, he does. To get his message across, right? Amen. He's he said the angel gave it to talk to who? To Mary. And tell her that she was going to bear, uh, 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 bear a son. And, she, and he also came to Joseph in a dream. Amen? Yes. Dream. Often those who trust in God makes a decision based on their, again, what? Let's say it together. Character. Character. Amen. Amen. And the minimal information they have only to own, they have only to have, God takes them to what? To a next level. Amen? Yes. To a next level. Let's go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 20 and 23. And it says, But after Joseph thought about this, an angel from the Lord came to him, where? In a dream. The angel said to Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will name him, now look at the responsibility, he said you will name him Jesus. 
Amen. You will name him Jesus. You will give him that name because he will because he will save his people from their sins. Verse 22. All this happened to make clear that the full meaning of what the Lord said through the prophets that the virgin will be pregnant and will give birth to a son and they will name him Emmanuel. Emmanuel meaning what? God with us. Amen? It was an, uh, an amazing dream and it was an insight into the miracles and supernatural ways of God. Amen. I can say this. I remember back and I tell people I love, let's get back to our first love. Amen. Back to our first love, which was remember that day that you became a Christian. That you accepted Christ into your life. And remember today especially that is his, his birth, amen, as we all celebrate around the world today, amen, of the birth of Christ, amen. And I want to say this, that the story of Christmas say, says basically this, that someday there will be a peace on this earth and a goodness among men because of God's greatest gift, amen. And Christ sacrificed for us, my brothers and sisters, when he returns in power to rule and to reign, Satan will re uh, return into his power to rule and to reign over Satan. Amen? And he will be the peace and he will reign the universe in many things and he will reign in the hearts and the minds of those who trust him as what? Well, Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 So, my meaning today is that remember that Christmas is a day of peace on earth and of goodwill to all men. We say that. And we can go around the globe today. And no matter what time or what date it falls, when it comes to the birth of Christ, the Bible says that every need, I'm saying this, every need, as we read the scriptures, and I remind myself, will bow and know that Christ is the Lord and Savior of Amen. this world. Amen. Amen. So that's the meaning of Christmas to me and the story of Christmas and I pray that a lot of you out there, my sisters and my brothers, have the character of Joseph as I pray for myself every day to do what's right, even when I don't understand what's going on around us. Yes. So and these are things that we learn in the Word of God. That's why I tell people it's so important that we come to the house of God to empower ourselves with the Word of God and understand and know that brothers and sisters before us Amen. That we're reading their stories. Amen. And, and what God has done in their lives. And we're reading about the story of Jesus. And all these things, man, that gives us hope. That gives us peace. That gives us a joy. Uh, and, and most of all, it gives us revelation. And also the will of God for my life and for your life. Because he loves us all. And I want to say again that, you know, the response to Christmas should always be, man, put God and remember Christ. Amen. That through yes. Him, God loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son that we would have peace and we can re and restore our relationship with Him. And also remember that God wants us to have that same relationship that we have with Christ and with Him, with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to have it with each other. Amen. Uh, we can preach so many sermons. We can share so many things and do so many things. But at the end of the day, let's remember the character of, of these great men like Joseph. Amen. And that when God gave him the privilege, and God has given us the privilege to have his son in our hearts. 
and, 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 and he gave us the Holy Spirit that guides us each day. So let us love one another, man, especially this day. Again, I always say you can't do nothing about yesterday, but today's a new day, amen, and especially today. So go out and call someone. Share the love. Share the character of Joseph, amen. Even if you don't know what's going on around, you know what, you still believe in trust and have faith and hope, amen. amen and, yes. and share the love of God because that's what Christ came for, you know. And as I said, today, man, is a day that we celebrate around this universe, this world, and the universe. Thanking God as we worship Him and thank Him for what He's done and thank God for sending His Son today, amen, and what He goes through this coming week when we go back in history, what He went through, amen, for us, amen, to have the greatest gift, amen. So again, I say that sincerely and I want to wish a Merry Christmas to everyone, amen, amen. and remember that that this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us continue to rejoice because every day is the day of the Lord. Amen. And let us keep the Sabbath day holy. Uh, before I go off, off the air, amen. Uh, uh, one of you want to share something? Amen. At Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, anything? Anybody? Amen. Amen. Come on up, Natasha. Amen. God bless everybody. Amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> as we come to, um, you know, to a close of, of twenty, you know, twenty two. Um, but as we celebrate Christmas today, yes. um, I just thank God for, um, you know, for as I, you know, remember back, um, you know, through throughout the the whole year, um, and and you know, things that we have gone through uh, personally, um, you know, personally, um, mm -hmm. each individually, um, us, um, and also corporately as a, you know, as a church. And, um, and I just thank God that he has seen us through, yes, you know, time yes. and time again. And, um, and, and, he, and he gives us our heart's desires as well. Um, you know, we pray for things and, 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 and it's, it's, it's amazing how we can see his, his, his hands at work when those things come to pass. Um, you know, and I just thank God for that. You know, um, I thank God for you know the, this new journey that I'm going on, you know, with my health and stuff. That He's He's allowed me opportunity um, to meet you know people and 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 you know to, to be able to 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 accomplish you know my heart's desires. You know, and um, you know not only that, but you know so with you know with with the church of you know the the house here, um, you know the church. You know how God is just. Um, you know, he, he provides, how he's yes, providing yes. and he's provided. And, um, and as long as we trust him, yes. and as long as we believe in his, in his word and, 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 and be consistent, um, persistent as well. And, um, but, but most of all, again, just trust him that, you know, as pastor was saying that, you know, even though we don't see things, yes. uh, sometimes, um, um, just trust the process and trust yes. that God is in control yes. um, as he always is and, um, and and he sees us through uh, time and time again so again I just thank God um, for the opportunity um, also and, and 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 to be you know able to be on the air um, doing the you know women at the round table um, that myself and, and Dickie Justina do and, and being able to to where well, a couple of years ago I, I mean that that wasn't me but God has 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 given me the the, the spirit of boldness. Yes. Um, um, and um, you know, and, and, and I've seen the growth, and um, and and again, I've seen His hand at work, which is um, yes. most important. Um, and how He just um, you know molds us and, 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 and you know to to be who He created us to be. And um, and I just thank God for um, for you know being able to you know trust Him. And, um, and and put in my life in his hands, um, even though you know at times I may not understand, as Pastor was saying, um, why things happen or, or or you know for what whatever reason. But I know that he is in control, and that he is the ultimate one. That you know that that, that he is the one that that um, you know that that that, that builds us, that, that yes, you know yes. builds our, our character, as Pastor was saying. Um, you know by you know the things that we go through, but when, as long as we trust him. Um, we're able to go through the things that, that you know, the, the go through the process, in other words. And um, and I just thank God for that. Amen. And, um, and for this house. Amen. 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 I guess somebody, all right.
Father, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity again to be able to come on the air and to share uh, your word, Lord, with my brothers and sisters out there. I pray blessings on each one of you. And again, Merry Christmas. Have a great Amen. Christmas. Amen. And remember, we'll be here at New Year's. Amen. We're going to uh, pray in the New Year. Those that would like to come out, we're going to celebrate it. And praying the new year here at Love Wings. God bless you. Amen. 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 And amen.